Our series of more perfect union aims to show that what unites us as Americans is far greater than what divides us. As the number of coronavirus cases soars at colleges and universities and campuses shut down, many students are struggling to meet basic needs like finding a safe place to live and enough food to eat. Meg Oliver shows us how one small college in the South is helping students with nowhere to go. Did you want me to put it under one of the homework drop boxes? Sophomore Michaela Alston is determined to graduate from Benedict College in Columbia, South Carolina, even after finding herself homeless during the pandemic. I was terrified, so I just prayed. I'd rather be homeless than to be in a toxic situation. When campus shut down March 18th, Michaela says she was out of options. In an effort to avoid an abusive home life, Michaela searched for abandoned parking lots to sleep in her car at night. I wanted to give up. Spent days crying and moping. It was very challenging, you know, having to get up and find a place to um, brush your teeth. During the day, the 19 year old who earned a full academic scholarship worked two jobs and hunted for internet access to complete her studies. So it was very challenging trying to get schoolwork done and maneuvering two jobs and everything. It was hard. Michaela finally reached out to her professors for help, which sparked an alert system on campus. Jamila Lynn is the director of specialized programming. She was in a dire place. She definitely had housing insecurity. She needed food. She needed basic necessities. Campus was closed, but Lynn quickly arranged to take care of Michaela's needs, including a safe place to stay. For so many of our students, Benedict College is the safe place. And so to be asked to leave that space put a number of our students at risk. Benedict is a small historically black college. About 80% of their students are dependent on financial aid. About 40%, like Michaela, are first generation students. When COVID closed campus, the administration raised enough money within 36 hours to send everyone home. But they didn't realize home was not an option for many. We were shocked, quite frankly, at the number of students who um, manifested housing insecurity issues, food insecurity issues, and so we spent a great deal of the summer facilitating those requests, funding those requests, and in some instances even negotiating leases, short-term housing situations, and in some very limited instances, shelter placement. During the early days of the pandemic, one survey found 15% of students at four-year institutions were homeless. Benedict estimates for them that at least 24% of their students body faces housing insecurity and depend on living with extended family or friends. Part of the challenge that we face is students' willingness to open up and share um, the difficulties that they're experiencing. So perhaps your telling her story will encourage other students to step up and say, I need help too. Did Benedict College save you? Yes. Oh my goodness. Yes. Yes. If I did not send that email, I, I don't know where I would have been right now. How does your future look today? I have a mission which is to obtain my degree and upon graduation commissioning in the United States Air Force. So I feel like I have a really bright future. I just have to keep my head on a straight. For CBS This Morning, Meg Oliver. Wow, to keep your Kayla head on straight Austin. in wow. that situation. Yes. Hats off to her. What an incredible young woman. What a rock star. Right? Yeah, and what an amazing job this college is doing, yep. helping yes. those kids. And a lot of colleges are doing it because as more kids go to school that didn't used to, you have more of these issues, and they need that extra support if you're going to finish the mission. Yeah, I think this, this was a really powerful story because I don't think a lot of people realize the position those kids are I'm in. I'm still with Michaela Alston. Yeah. Yeah. You have a bright, bright future. She